All right, this is one last midnight. We are going to take a look at a new game called Foundation. It is out in alpha and was released to the founders uh, this actually yesterday. And it's a uh, Foundation is a is a gridless, uh, sprawling medieval building simulation that focuses heavily on organic development and monument construction and resource management. Of course, like any building game, you need to manage your resources and you need to um yeah focus on construction <laughs> what else right um this is the first time i've ever started it it doesn't have any sound i mean it has some sound it has some some ambient noises but it doesn't have any music yet uh the ui is a little rough as you can see it's um it is very basic ui and don't don't focus on that we're going to be focusing on the gameplay itself we're not going to really be focusing on some unpolished features i'm sure that they'll polish those features up in a while so don't have any worry about that uh and they actually say that in here bear in mind that the game is still in heavy development which means there's bugs and there's a bunch of crashes so we we got that we totally understand it so camera controls wasd and you can see that i'm moving around here zoom in and out with the wheel and i like the fact that you can get right down in on the action a lot of these building games and i just got uh uh, Frostpunk and um, I'm about to get Battletech and you know a lot of the a lot of the games don't let you get down close enough to the action and man I don't care if it gets pixelated the graphics get pixelated or anything gets pixelated I I want to see I want to see it I want to see the I want to see the model whatever it is and I totally understand that if you get close to it the model's not going to look good you know that's you should still be able to get close to it and this is pretty cool, man. I can get right on the ground. Matter of fact, I'm in a tree right now. So that's awesome. I want to be in a tree. Really cool modeling and very cool camera control so far. Let's uh, move to the next thing. Acquiring land. Uh, choose the first piece of land, but choose wisely. You'll be able to buy more later. Uh, first one's free. And I guess when we buy our land, what we really want to focus on are resources. What I'm going to get resource-wise. I can pick a couple of these different locations to start off with. They all seem to have the same resources uh, available, which is like a mushroom and also a uh, stone or iron or whatever that might be. But it's very cool that I could build on the side of a mountain. And this map seems to be pretty large. That's the end of the world. This is their terrain. Still looks pretty cool. I'm loving it. I like this concept that there's like three of these areas next to each other. Um, a nice flat area down there. That, though, I don't know if that means anything. But these three connected are pretty cool. What what would happen if I build on the side of a mountain? You know what? Let's do that. Okay. So I'm going to choose this ground piece. And then we'll buy this one and this one later. Uh, let's see here. My village center... Build center, uh, this is, use the build menu on the top right of the screen. This is the build menu for the village center and stuff. I guess there's something right here for public building. And uh, villagers. Villagers are going to be, I guess, over here. At Felty, uh, Piety, Labor, Seven Days, uh, Number of Villagers, There's No Quests. A lot of information going on here. First villagers. Uh, global happiness in the upper top left corner. Okay, we get all that. We'll figure that out as we come along. Construction. Uh, there's more buildings to construct now. I'll have a look at the build menu. You can rotate your building around by moving. Let's buy this piece of land. Right? Let's pause. How do we pause? We pause? There is a pause. Okay, we can pause up here. That spacebar would be paused, but that's okay. Construction, we probably need that village center. Let's put the village center down right here. Nice. Uh, I have a new quest build. New buildings available unlocked, right? I have sawmill, woodcutter's camp, all that other stuff. Oh, we get a little music? No. But that was that was cool. Do 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 do. Do do. <laughs> I'm liking it. <laughs> All right. Um, you'll need to build. I'll need at least one builder. 
You can assist a job. You can assign a job to a villager in, from the villager window. Really? Where's the villager window again? Paint development zones, build walls, territory, budget, trade, menu. Where was the villager window? Villager list. No jobs. Let's keep that up, shall we? Quest list. Desirable layers. Residential fertility. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, this tells me the land fertility. Nice. How do I go back to regular? Do I have to turn this off? Okay, well, that's going to be interesting to get back to regular. Um, gathering food production. Most workers... Well, most building needs workers to produce goods. How do I turn this off? Remember, Alpha. What is a quest list? Desirable. Okay, flipped it off with desirable layers. Let's put down. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's happening here. Let's put down a. Get looking on our villagers. Have a new quest, reach a weekly profit of 500. Why are my guys not doing anything? Oh, I need a single builder, right? Frederick is now a builder. Hmm. A little confusing. We're going to have to figure this out. Find available builder. I have Frederick as my builder already. I've already assigned Frederick as my builder. Newcomer needs berries, water, lodging. Let's look at Market Stone Well Warehouse. Building walls. Residential extraction. Forbidden land. Do I need to zone? It didn't say anything about zoning. Let's go back to the villagers menu. Yeah, the villagers menu is just by clicking on any one of the villagers. This is their menu. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we have this guy. He's got a little hammer now. So I, I think he's my builder, right? Having a hard time clicking him. I don't know if they're building this area. And it didn't say anything about... It didn't say anything about having to zone first. If I did zone as like residential... Oh, that was cool. Oops, put that back in. Oh, I zoned his residential, so one guy got to work. Let's make another guy a builder. Actually, I'll be honest with you. We'll make several people builders. All right, let's watch the building process a little bit. You know, one of the things that I like about some of the other builder games that I'm playing are, especially it's Ostriv that I'm, I'm thinking, is that they take their time. The building is in multiple phases and stages. It's not just like one model, two model, three model built. 
but they they segment it out a little bit more and it seems like that's exactly what they're doing here they're getting the frame up they're working on getting the frame up okay but then it goes to instant model so it would have been nicer to see maybe i don't know instead of it being the frame goes up and then instant model maybe a little bit more than that I'm not too sure we'll see we'll see how this plays out So they're constructing buildings. How? Hmm, I like this. Let's get down a woodcutter. Now the woodcutter camp probably should be in here, right? Let's put down the woodcutter camp. And let's set this to be allows cutting wood, stone, mushrooms, and berry gathering. Okay, let's set this up for extraction. We'll just paint this whole corner. This is almost kind of remnant of uh, city skylines where you're putting in districts. Kind of interesting. Can I overwrite a district? Uh, not entirely sure how that's working. Let's set a couple guys to be woodcutters. It's uh, Yolanda here is going to be a woodcutter. Aaron is going to be a woodcutter. We'll see what happens with the woodcutters. Camp, did they go off? We're going to need some food gathering, right? Gatherers camp, that's food, I assume? Build taxes. I don't have enough... Oh, I have enough money. I don't have enough wood. I've kind of used all my wood right now. So we're waiting for the woodcutters to finish up. So why don't we give another woodcutter a job here? The builders aren't doing anything right now. Take the builders off. Get some people wood cutting. And then we'll we'll do some gathering. We can gather some stone, right? We need uh no, we need a stone cutters camp. Two new villagers joined my village. That's fantastic. Let's get a stonecutter's camp down. And let's get a um, gatherer's camp. We need some builders. We'll put him back as a builder. And Carl as a builder. Carl looks like a good builder guy. Production. If I click on this, okay, it says workers that are assigned to this job. How much wood are they bringing in though? He coming back and bringing in things? Where is he dropping it off? Right in the middle? Uh, not entirely sure. They're using the same concept as Austria does for roads, right? So the where people walk is where the road is going to be. So there's no laying of roads down. Let's look at this extraction. Stone mushrooms gathering, forbidden land. No one will walk on the Lord's land. Let's set this for extraction. Let's set this for extraction. Oops. Oops. I 
I'm assuming these guys are going to finish the building process, right? I don't know. We're, f we're figuring it out. How this is all playing out here. Oh, we needed more resources. How much wood are we producing? Produce four logs. Hmm. Speed it up a little bit. This guy's hammering away. We're still waiting on two logs for this site to be completed. And how many logs are we waiting for this? We're waiting for six logs for that to be completed. What is this? Tools? Ooh. I'll just get some more villagers. Man, I don't know if I want any more villagers. I don't have any food. I've got ten berries for them to eat. Martin, how about we make you a woodcutter? Alright. Gatherers camp is completed. I need some gatherers. Got two gatherers in place. Stone cutter. He's going to be done here in a moment. Let's get a couple people cutting stone. Alright. I'm set. We're going to be getting stone, we're going to be getting food, we're going to be getting wood. Now, I don't know how to make tools. So probably marketplace gathers, sell gathered foods to villagers. Sell gathered food to villagers, really? Produces wood in exchange for logs. A well provides water to the villagers. Probably that would be nice, huh? How about we put our well right here? A warehouse. Used for stocking resources and trade. How big is the warehouse? Kind of big. Can we rotate these buildings? How do we rotate the buildings? To talk about building rotation. Acquiring new land. Villagers, construction, production, no. Uh na, 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 na. interesting. Oh no, stone cutter. Market. Ooh, let's put the market right here. Because that would look cool for a market. Walls. Territory. Oh, I can buy pieces of land. Nice, nice. I want to put the keep up here. I don't have the money for it, though. I'm out of cash. Trade. Villagers leave due to unhappiness. Hmm. Why are you unhappy? Exactly. Let's see if we can see why they're unhappy. Lack of berries, lack of water. Well, we got the berries. We, we have the water finished, right? Unlock a trade route. Okay, we have the market, so they should be able to sell. Let's uh let's extend our residential land. That's gonna be a gathering area, but let's kinda build out our residential land a little bit more. We're gonna have our city sprawl this way. Have it sprawl over here as well. Down in here. It's interesting that we can get areas, zones to overlap a little bit. I don't, I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do, but 
Okay. Kind of interesting. I think we have berries now, right? Oh, no, I need to sign a villager for this. I have no villager. Let's get rid of one of the builders. Carl's now going to be the market guy. How many berries do I have? I have 12 berries. I've got some stone. I have tools. I haven't built any tools yet. Villager's upgrading his house? Really? Alright, I guess their little house is not acceptable yet. Alright, well hey, I appreciate you guys joining me on this first look. Thank you very much. Put a like if you liked the series. Leave comments in the comment section below. If you haven't already, please subscribe and we'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.